Boy, what's up everyone on YouTube, your boy the Memphis XL, alright, coming at you live with 100 Days of Yu-Gi-Oh, where I take a look at a different deck every day for 100 days. Today is day 5 of Troll Week, and we're playing Grand Maju Beatdown, Banish, Troll, whatever you want to call it. It's all about banishing stuff and giving this dude Grand Maju to Aiza, huge attack numbers. We got things like the Eater Billions, the Jowgans, the Necroface, Fear Mode for big boards. Whole bunch of stuff to screw with our opponents. We're gonna have ourselves a good old time and three plus random duels against random people on YGO Pro. Let us begin. Alrighty, our first opponent is against Bub Rub for real. I don't even wanna I don't even wanna ask what that is supposed to be implying. Anyway, we're gonna go second with this deck. We can go first or second. This would have been a decent enough going first hand, but it's fine. Actually, I scratched that. Macrocosmos is here. This is definitely a go first hand. Sometimes we get the ghost first hands, and sometimes we get the ghost second hands. That's just how this deck rolls sometimes. It's just a bit of a flip of the coin, but as long as he doesn't go off-off, I should be fine. Uh, let's see, I'm seeing set cards, which usually isn't the great thing, but only two, so I don't really mind. Let's go ahead and set this macrocosmos, and I'm going to go ahead, as I play Soul Absorption... Shoutouts to absolutely no one, because there will be no shoutouts during the Troll Week. None. None whatsoever. Not even to play Pot of Desires. We're about to banish ten cards and draw two. And then I will gain... A, oh, I don't, I don't even care. I don't even care if I don't get to draw cards, because I'm just about gaining, you know, 5,000 life points. 500 for each banished card, baby. Let's go ahead. Gold Sark. I banish one card... And I get it in a couple turns. We want to banish Necroface. So that way... Uh, one, two. That way, I'll get 500 for this. This banishes five. I'll get 2,500 more. If I banish another Necroface, which I didn't even bother checking to see if that is even an option. Ah, it was an option. I drew the other Necroface, so I get even more life points. And he's losing his Monarch stuff. Yes, give me more life points. And then when I banish for my other things, let's go ahead. I just want to see what I banished. Uh, da, da, ooh, this is some decent stuff. I banished some good stuff, and all my DD Dynamites are gone. That kind of stinks. But I got Grand Maju to Aiza, whose attack is 8,400. Let's go ahead and swing for game and see what happens. We're just going to see. You know, you never know. Okay. <laughs> Pathetic. Pathetic monarchs. Pathetic. Give me better than that. Okay, there's a dual one. Wasn't the greatest monarch player, but I still kicked his butt. So let's go ahead for dual two. Crystal Kings. Okay, you're my next opponent. Maybe another monarch player. Who knows? Let's go second again. That seemed to work just fine. This is a this is a more going second hand. Last time we got a going first hand going second. This time... We're up against Karakuris. They can make big boards. I've played Karakuris before, and so I know for a fact he can make a decent board off of this. This thing lets him normal summon again. This will get counters every time his mode switches. That let him get the Merchant Man. The Merchant Man searches more Karakuris. He can do some stuff, and that's what the Sphere Mode's going to help with. I'd also really appreciate a spell. I can use my Cursed Seal to use that on, man. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Anyway, uh, what else is he going to do? At a Curry. When did Curry Curries get Legacy support? They could use a Link or something. That would be cool. I mean, Platinum Gadget's kind of a Link for them, but not really. In a way, it is, but it is not. What is it? Summon a level 4 lower machine from the hand of the zone. This card points to It's destroyed. Get a gadget. It's more of a gadget link, but it still works for Kata Goodies. You know, you gotta admit that. Look, he's got a Komachi back. That's negated. But it's a tuner. So he can still make Bure. And then Bure lets him summon another Karakuri. And he still has this anatomy thing. He's got the strategist who will go to defense mode with his effect, and then he gets to draw two cards. See, this is what Kata Kuris are capable of. I have played them before. Like I said... And they do pretty much this. This is what they do. I mean, personally, I prefer Karakuri's Pewter, but I tried them with uh, trains or something. Didn't work too well, but what can you do? Sometimes you just gotta experiment. I kind of feel bad because this guy's about to get sphere-moded, but I cannot feel bad for my opponents, or else they'll walk all over me. 
I can't allow this. And then Bure is going to put that back in attack mode. He's going to get another counter. He's going to draw another card. All right, you're so desperate for that one card, man. Uh, you already used that effect. He's got a set card. If I know this deck, it's probably some sort of negation thing. Like a Solemn or something. All right. Ooh, Banisher of the Radiance. That'll be useful later. For now, let's go ahead and give him a golden ball. And he'll probably be very upset about that. But I don't care because it's time for trolls. If he doesn't do anything with it, I get it back. I can put it in defense mode. And then he cannot attack it. I mean, he can't attack it regardless. Uh-huh. So, if I get this back, it's a, it's basically just a wall. I put it in here just to beat big boards like Orcus and the like. You're welcome to take it out and replace it with, you know, whatever. I just put it in here because... Uh, I, got, I got a thing for the Sphere Mo. What can I say? He's, it's a good anti-meta card. It's good going second anti-meta card. Oh, no. He did have a link. Oh, well. So much for my evil plans. So much for my evil plans. Now I'm going to have to think about this. Let's see. I've got Banisher still, but again, without other things, it's... This is a go-first thing. Like, if you have nothing else, you summon this. Your opponent's pretty much forced to go battle phase to get over this. Okay, I might be in a bit of a grind game, so I'm going to... Hmm. I don't want to skip yet. Let's see what this guy does first, and then we'll see if we skip or not. If he starts making combos, I'll skip. If not, I'll just keep going. I need to get either my pot of uh, desires... I, I forgot, there's there still so many pots. It's either extravagance or desires. I gotta get my pot of desires... Or my Eater. If I can do one of those things, I can out this. If I can't do that, I'm going to be in trouble. The thing is, he knows I have Sphere Mode now. So he's going to be more cautious about making Big Board. You know? Because he knows I have this. And I need to have three monsters to make it work. I can use his three monsters, but he has to have three monsters. Uh, let's see, that's five stars. So there's, there's no level five card Curry Synchro, which is... Kind of weird, I think about it. They only have, like, the two. They have Bure and Burado. They could use some other low, lower-level Synchros. Like, I remember Super Heavy Samurais. They got, like, a level 5 Synchro for no particular reason. Why not Karagurus? Doesn't have to be super fancy. Just has to be, like, maybe something that gives them an extra normal summon. So you can summon another uh, Nanishi. Then you can make Burado. See, that, that's easy. That's easy and simple and not too complicated. I, I would do that. I would play a Karakuri like that. It'll be Karakuri model um, 816 or something. I don't know. They all have model numbers, but none of them are like... They're, they're all very distant from another. So, you know, this Inishichi's model 177, size ends 313, etc., etc. What else? The Inishi's 224... Uh, 248, double zero, and then 919. Yeah, all different numbers. All right, so now he's going to get rid of my poor Banisher of Radiance. He has the decode, talker man. Well, before I go ahead and uh, sphere mode this guy, I should, I should mention, um, if you don't know, Karakuris have to attack. It's kind of a thing they do. Like, if it's, on, if it's in attack mode, he has to attack with it. Yeah. It's kind of a thing. It has to attack if it's possible for it to attack. I'm sorry, my bro. I must once again hit you with the sphere mode. I know you don't appreciate it, but it's all I've got. I prefer to hit you with the Grand Maju, but my Pot of Desires, my desirable card, is not here. And he surrendered. All right, there's a... Now you can see how we do second. This is how we duel when we don't get the banished link. We just sphere mode until our opponents can't do nothing. Let's go for duel three, maybe duel four. We'll see how it goes. Duel three, though, is coming up. The ultimate rage, Brooklyn Rage, is our next opponent. All right, let's see how this goes. So far, today's episode's doing good. Doing good. We got an OTK off Grand Maju. That was nice. I showed off sphere mode. Oh, Inferno Tempest. Lordy, that's a good card. It's really, really messes with people. Basically, if I take 3,000 damage, this banishes every monster in both players' deck. 
And if I have this on board when that happens, oh, it's a beautiful sight to behold, I tell you what. Let's go ahead and macrocosmos, set that, set this. I'll set this just in case, and I'll end my turn. Again, sphere mode's here. I don't know why he keeps showing up. Maybe I shouldn't have put him at three. Maybe two would have been better. Honestly, it might have been. Um, go macrocosmos. Yeah, this is a one-off for a good reason. Everything that goes to the graveyard will be banished instead. It's a pretty nasty card, I tell you what. I'll tell you what I need. It would be cool if he uh, hit me with 3,000, banished all my stuff, and then I drew my DD Dynamite. It does 300 damage for everything that's banished in both players' banished pile. You know, the banished zone doesn't actually have a name. It's just called Banished. I mean, I call it the Banished Pile, but some people call it the Banished Zone. Some people just call it Banished. It's kind of a weird oversight. It's, I mean, it has a spot, but it doesn't, like, you know, it doesn't have a name. It's kind of weird. He chose not to attack. Interesting. Did he know Stormy Mirror Force? Or does he have something else in mind? He's going to blow up his own stuff and get it banished. Uh, let's see, target face of card control, summon that thing, give me more life points, give me even more life points. Thank you, young man. Thank you very much. Let's go. Oh, hey, Eater. Eater's finally here, folks. Hey. So what this guy does is I get to banish up to, f you know, I can banish up, yeah, I have to banish 15 cards. Yeah, I can't get my words out. I can banish them from field, hand, or the extra zone, the extra deck, I should call it. And then you summon them out. I'll get a heck of a lot of light points. 7,500, in fact. And when he battles, I can just straight up banish my opponent's stuff. This is the thing that gets over a lot of stuff. I remember when he first came out, he was trolley AF. And now he is dead as F. No, my eater of millions. He was a pure and innocent soul. And now he's dead. Well, that happens. It's fine. Uh, I mean, it's not fine, fine, but it's like, I can recover my extra deck and do that again. I have a necro face, so it's all good. It's all fine. I'm going to go ahead and Stormy Mirror Force this guy so that I gain more life points. Yes, I have so many life points. I considered combining this with old school uh, Sanctuary in the Sky because there isn't, oh, hey, Eater Millions, there you are. Uh, oh, yeah, I banished five or more cards, so let's see, one, two, let's see. One, two, three, four. Not enough. I don't really want to banish Macrocosmos. That's the thing. So really, I only have... Well, I have three... I could summon him, but it would be a bad idea. I don't really want to do it. You know what I mean? I don't want to do that. If I do that, I'll have nothing. And I have enough life points, I can sit for a bit. Even if he summons something big, that'll only work in my favor. Because I got Inferno Tempest, Okay. I got Inferno Tempest. He may have the field spell, but I don't care. Uh, in defense mode. So he's going to try and make some links. He's going to try for a Boral of some form. Uh, in this situation, probably Boral Sword. But he might also make Boral Load. Either one will help me with my Inferno Tempest. Or, conversely, he can do a whole lot of nothing. And I can summon Grin Maju to Aiza, who will have 6,800 attack. Not the highest attack I've ever seen. I... Usually, when people play this, I've seen him go up to 10,000 plus, you know, but I'm playing him early. Those guys go for the long game when they try to get 10,000 attack off this guy. Plus, I don't have my desires yet, which just kind of makes me sad. Anyway, I've got my Grand Maju. He's going to have to figure out a way around that. I don't know how he's going to get around that. Oh, he had another transients. Oh, no, and he had back with calf mouth. So now I'm not going to gain 500 life points. That's a disaster. No, I have a card in my graveyard. Blasphemy. Oh, hey, another soul absorption. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. I'm really close. I'm really close to doing it, man. If I draw Desires, I'll play this and then Desires, because I would like to gain that many life points. That would be a lot of life points. And he still hasn't summoned anything big enough for Tempest. That has to be 3,000 in one attack. It can't be overall. Otherwise, this would be banned or something. Speaking of banless, uh, 
When does the next one come out? The last one was like a month ago. Presuming no emergencies, the next one should be in July? I believe in July, yes. Next ban list in July. All right. He's got Phoenix. So what's he going to blow up? No, not Macrocosmos. It was so important to my plays. And then I gained 1,500 life points. Well, you're going to be that way, huh? You're going to be that way. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. You know what? If you're going to be that way, I'm just going to banish all my stuff for another eater. And then I'm going to summon another Grimaju. He's 8,800 now, boy. All right, let's go ahead and beat into his things. Eater of Millions will devour his monster soul. And then I attack for an OTK. There you go. We can OTK quite well with this deck. It just takes a little setup. Let's go ahead, do another duel, because we're 3-0, and and I want to keep going. Let's go. All right, GR, fourth opponent. Player Fur. I don't know what the fur is fur. But Fur is our opponent. And let's see here. Let's try going first. Let's just see what happens. Okay, let me think about this. Hmm. Potter Desires is good, but I don't have anything to make it worth it. So I'm going to summon my Banisher, and I'm going to set a Twin Twister. Okay, and then we're just going to end our turn. We're just going to see what this guy does. So now, this guy's basically Macrocosmos on non-existent legs. He has no legs. Any card sent to the grave will be banished instead. So now he's just going to have to attack into me before he does things. Does he realize that? Yes, he does. Okay. That's fine. Like I said, I'm just trying to I'm trying to slow him down at this point. I'm just trying to slow him down just a smidge. That way, uh, we'll be good. And we're up against Zambies. And they certainly like their stuff. Yes. Let's go ahead. Immediately get rid of a couple set cards. I probably should have waited to the end phase, but it's fine. Called by the Grave and Quaking Mirror Force. Okay. That's fine. Uh, the Eater Millions. Pot of Desires. Turn, turn, turn. Give me some nice cards so he shall burn. Or don't. That is also an option. It's fine. All I really cared about was banishing stuff anyway. Let's see, let's banish some more things. We'll just banish five. That way I can summon both eaters if necessary. Let's go ahead and banish this. Or at least attempt to. Oh. Okay. Yes, I will continue the battle. Thank you. I shall continue the battle and hit him for 1500 damage. And end my turn. All right. He's got a whole lot of nothing right now. I mean, if he summons Balladrock, uh, it'll be mildly problematic because that has negation. I don't really like the idea of him negating my Eater of Millions. I just like the idea of Eater constantly attacking this guy directly. I mean, again, I could summon another one, and then there would be 2,000. I might do that next turn. I just want to... I want to hold this in reserve in case this is another Mirror Force and he's being clever and just not activating it. I don't like to put all my eggs in one basket, if you hadn't noticed. It's kind of my dual style. I like to be a little more reserved with my cards. It's just kind of like how I am. Let's see. Go away, all you guys. As you can tell, our extra deck is full of the most useful cards. Only the best for our deck. You know, we don't really use the extra deck. So I just filled it with, like, random stuff. Oh, Twin Twisters. Okay, that's fine. Imagine the Twin Twisters forced you to destroy two spell traps. I mean, that would be kind of crazy. I mean, that's just my opinion, you know I mean? I'm just saying, man. Let's go ahead and eat her twice. There you go. I ate you twice. That's how it worked. And I got Regeki still, so even if he summons Balladrok, uh, it's going to be a hard time for him. Okay, he's got to foolishly bury me. All right. Oh, no, it's Glow Up Bloom. That makes it worse, because now we can just straight up summon Ballardrock. Ballardick. Hello, Ballardick. How's it going? Let me think about this for a second. Okay. Okay. So what I will probably do... Okay. 
Summon a Banshee. It's fine, I suppose. Are you going to... Okay, he's probably going to do is make... Um, oh. Oh, right, 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 right. And he's going to banish my monster. Okay. He's going to activate another field spell. Interesting choice. Um... And then he can do the other... He can do both effects, right? Yeah, he can. So he can straight up negate my Aether of Millions. This makes it painful for me. Makes it painful because unless I draw on Aiza, I'm going to be in trouble. Okay, so you've got Ash Blossom and I have... Uh, all of two monsters. Okay. Are you going to... Okay, now he's going to do Sucker. Okay. He's going to regret that, though. He's going to slightly regret that. Not a lot. Not a lot, because now Sucker goes off, and then he gets to banish my Eater. Let's see. Does this target? I forget. No, it does not. All right. Um, right. I'm going to regek. That way he doesn't have any things. He'll get Battle Rock back in defense mode, though, so that's nothing I can really do anything about at this point. Um, I'm thinking here. It really stinks that he did that. I had a plan that if I kept a if I kept an Eater, I was going to regek and then attack for game. I feel like I should have summoned Eater earlier, and then maybe this wouldn't be happening. It's my own fault for not going all in. If I lose, it's all my own fault. I can't blame the deck. It's me own fault for being too reserved. I tried to be just a little reserved, but that was a pro that was a mistake. It was a problematic mistake. Hello, Jogan. Oh wait, that doesn't work. I'm just gonna summon Jogan regardless, because Jogan would have been nice if I had uh, waited on Rugeki, but it doesn't work now. It stops all the special salmoning of monsters. Um, you go, bro. Here's here's a wizard. I gave you a wizard, but he'll at least prevent my opponent from summoning the rest of the turn. Special summoning, I should say, not normal summoning. Obviously, he's gonna summon Unizombie, and I need Grand Magic to Isa. It is the one card that will save my butt cheeks. All right, so now he's gonna banish my Jaugen. But if I summon Isa, uh, you're going to be in a lot of trouble, sir. Just so you're aware. Just so you're aware of the massive butt kickery that you're about to experience once Isa gets in here. Also, in his sphere mode is uh, Ballard Uh if necessary. I mean, that won't help me really much at this situation. This is one of those decks that sphere mode doesn't do much against just because... You know, he just keeps summoning things back from the grave and all that good stuff. And he summoned that. Mm -hmm. Target monster opponent's graveyard special summon it. And defense, but it comes a Zambi. And then blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, I'd say I've lost. Sad to say, this is a little embarrassing. It's my own fault. Apologies to anybody who was expecting a no losses. No loo losses. I'm going to do one more duel, though. Just because I can. And uh, I'll see you there as soon as this guy finishes me off. I'll see you there.